So we talked about isolating your left hand to get the rocking motion of the boat song. We're thinking not in six beats per measure, we're thinking in two. That is the first three eighths are one group of notes and then the second group of three is the lighter group. So there's two beats to the measure, not six. And you lean on the first beat. I'm going to go very, very slowly because if you can play very, very slowly and get exactly what you want, then later you'll have created and encapsulated what you want to do in faster motion. It should remain the basic shapes. So this is the rocking motion. You get this.
to use my right hand where it's a very vulnerable place there. Um, it was a place I really need to go over again to get clearer. Because the fingering is tricky here, the thumb foe. So these trills are tricky. On this first trill, which many students use two, three, two, three, I use four, two, four, two. This is because I somehow get a good four, two trill. But, but the good thing to do is go do a side to side motion like this. And then go to the fingers. Same with this one. Side to side, like you're turning a door a little bit, door knob. Somehow it loosens up the arm, because it's the arm that gets tight. The arm is tight, cuts off energy to the finger. So now these trills are tricky because they have uh, the composer has swells out, and then he has diminuendo. So he's crescendo diminuendo over the trill, and you can't just do the left hand isn't going to do that for you. Although the left hand can help, but the trill has to be also reflect that dynamic. <laughs> is try to float this as much as you can. Um, and, and there are some places where, as I said before, where you can do this. Control with the left hand. Do a lot of left hand, and do that separately right hand. And then remember that the left hand is holding together the character of the rocking motion is vested in the left hand. <laughs> 